Good morning and welcome to Friday here on BBC One with election news and reaction now over breakfast. Hello, very good morning to you. You're watching Breakfast with Dermot Manahan and Natasha Kaplinsky. Tony Blair wins an historic third term as Prime Minister, but Labour's majority is slashed. That's our main story here on Breakfast. It's Friday the 6th of May. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Tony Blair admits he'll have to listen to the message from the voters. British people wanted the return of a Labour government, but with a reduced majority. And we have to respond to that sensibly and wisely and responsibly. Gains for Conservatives. Michael Howard admits defeat, but insists the result is a turning point. And gains for the Liberal Democrats as well. Charles Kennedy declares it's the birth of an era of three-party politics. Also coming up on Breakfast This Morning, the Iraq effect as anti-war candidate George Galloway wins in Bethnal Green. We assess the effects of the conflict on the vote. And it wouldn't be an election, of course, without Peter Snow. All the twists, the turns, the upsets. Peter will be here to tell us how the race was won. Our main news this morning, Tony Blair has won an historic third successive election, but with a much reduced majority. Well, with most of the seats declared, the latest prediction is a majority of 66 for Labour. This is the state of the parties a short while ago. Labour on 346 seats, having lost 45. The Conservatives 188, gaining 30. Liberal Democrats are on 56, up 12. Plied Cymru down 1 to 3, and the Scottish National Party up 2 to 6. And three seats went to other parties. If we translate that into a share of the vote, Labour took 36.6%. That's down 5.9% on last time. The Conservatives were up half a percent on 329 while the Liberal Democrats took 22.4%, up 39 